We'd like to hear what does the wisdom of Kabbalah have to say about stagnation in life, whether it's temporary or something that's fixed. And I'd like to ask, how would you define stagnation from your point of view as a Kabbalist? I'd put it this way, that we're in a process that begins at a certain point and ends at a certain point. One way or another, we're talking about time, even though that there's something that's beyond time, but still, we're talking about times. And in that time in which we feel our life, we feel different, experience different states. A state can't change unless it reaches its previous end and from there gives birth to a new state and again the end of the previous state and the birth of a new one. Sometimes we have pretty smooth transitions between the states where we understand and feel how it goes by with the help of different actions of ours, suppose that we're engaged in certain activities or at work or we're realizing some external or internal plans of ours and so on. And sometimes we feel that we're not really ready to change these states. Meaning that I either don't want to change a good state for something less, or it's hard for me to climb from a bad state to a good state, which also demands us to exert ourselves, make an effort, pay somehow. Meaning there are things here on the way that we get stuck in. So, the feeling of stagnation in life is a very good feeling. Really, it helps us understand, what did I have, what will I have, what do I want to have, why do I feel that I'm stuck, 